Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back and welcome all of you to my new blind LP Earthbound But Welcome Yes we're gonna keep with the trend of the face cam because while I was doing it for Cuphead I really enjoyed making a face cam to all of that and so I decided to make a face cam as well and if you can as you can see in the background I'm not sitting in front of my computer as normally because I'm playing this on the virtual console so I'm actually sitting in front of a TV screen and my Wii U and I'm playing this well on the Wii U virtual console so but yeah Earthbound playing it for the first time as I was with Marvel so let's move around let's find out what happened we heard a lot bump in the night let's visit the rooms hello Let's talk. Hey bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Also, I think... Is there a way? Oh no, please don't do that. Ah, there we go. Do you think mom will let me stay up late tonight? I can't seem to fall back asleep. Okay, so if I just press the L button, I have an instant talk. Okay, that's good. So this is my instant check button. And we open the present. Crack bat! And this takes it. So... What I already know is that the inventory is right here stationary. Because um, I wanted to record it earlier, but yeah, things got right and at least got a little bit of a glimpse into that thing. Because I wouldn't have checked, uh, figured that out by myself. Is there anything here? No problem. Anything here? No problem. Well, then let's just move on. We have a crack bat now. And it's good for me to know that here is... My inventory. Because, again, I wouldn't have figured that out myself. So I have to thank my brother for that, Jerry Garen. Hi, Mom. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh. Okay. We'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if you ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Well, okay, Mom. Mom seems to be uh, only okay with me just leaving the house and checking... A loud bump in the night. Like it. Thank thee, mom. Thank thee. Be careful. Come home as soon as you can. Hi. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? And that's all he wrote. Okay. Back there is a phone, but we can't interact with that just yet. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna ignore that phone for, for good. No problem. Okay, let's check this. Hello there, Am. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too serious. Okay, I'm gonna only check them once. I think they're only specific characters so that have two lines. Don't panic, it's just... A, a what? A meteorite. That? Who? Fell? I just wanna... What? Go home? He's strange. Wanted police are famous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. Strange thing to do if you ask me. South to the suburbs of Wanted. Okay. I'm also gonna call it Wanted. I think there's also the way to say on it. But since it's a play on the numbers, Wanted, and the other cities as well, I'm gonna call it Wanted. Hello. Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm, I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Well, you're not making a good, good job because I think the police is already up there. Is there anything up here? No? Nay? Okay, I'm not gonna check it too much. Let's see if anything's in here. Check that out. Hi. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother ran out of here. To chase after a police car. He said, Piggy, you should stay home. So I'm home, watching our house. Mom and dad aren't home yet. He went out to an elegant restaurant. Okay. So, nothing in here yet. Let's still check it out a little bit. Because we wanna, wanna see as much as possible in the first episode, won't we? And up here is Jack. The houses are surprisingly small. You don't need a lot of living room. Especially 
Since his brother Pokey seems to be up there, the two beds up there are his. Or maybe just, well, the parents don't sleep in one bed. I mean, okay. Who am I to judge? So let's move on. We have to go down here. Hello, officer. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto. Yeah, okay, my home's over that way, so I'm gonna go that way. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I ate my job. Okay, take that as it is. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Nah, you got it. That man gets it. Hey, there's a present. One after present. But I think I'm gonna pass by it anyway, so let's do that. Hello. Hey, you! Don't you know what time it is? Nah, I don't know. I can't read. I can't read the clock. Digital or not, I can't read the clock. It's too complicated. And a bread roll. Thank you. I have a bread roll now. Let's take a look. Bread roll. And help. Bread roll. When eaten, you recover about 30 HP. Okay. So, HP. Perfect. Don't know if we're gonna need that just yet, but whatever. Hey, let's see a boy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens, citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you... Uh, whoops. I almost told you about my... Uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Treasure Hunter. This is Lyre Exeter... Exeter's house. Lyre Exeter's. Good one. Like it. So many puns. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh, nice. Hello. Okay, I take you a pokey. So let's check the police first. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? I mean, I guess. And you live in the house next to his? Let's see. Clear out, get out of the way, clear out, get out of the way, clear out, get out of the way, clear out, off way, out, get my... Uh, whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way! Okay, what do you have to say? Shh, shh. I take it. Hi, Pokey. Hey, guys, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here. But you're bugging the officers. Yeah, Pokey, it's me. I am the problem. Well, let's, let's just move on. I don't think I can do anything else here. So let's just move on. Move on. Bye, Lyra Exaggerates. I like the name. It's amazing. So, I don't think there's anything else we can... Uh, we can get stuck on trees, so we can do that for us. We can have that going on for us. But other than that, I don't think there's anything else we can do, so let's move on back home. And I think we're gonna go to sleep then, because nothing else will probably work out. Hey, do you have anything to say now? And uh, you did not do anything about that. I was even closer up there than you were. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I will. Thank thee, ma'am. It is knocking. Who may be knocking that night? Hello. Oh, my sister's outside. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Annoying? It's Pokey. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> annoying knock. It's Pokey. I bet you it's Pokey. Hi. 
my land. Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Of course, ma'am, I will. Anything to say about that? Got fleas sucking with dry, so I'm just going to lie still for now. Okay. What an annoying knock. Hey, uh, listen to what I got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, uh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, the police uh, that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my best friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Uh, freaking yes. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. What? Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I really hate Pokey. Hey, mom, what you say? I know that dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The crack back in Tracy's room could help it out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Okay, mom, gotta do so. And I also already have the crack bed, so I don't need to concern myself with that. Unless the game unequipped it for some odd reason. Let's check my equipment. No, I still have it. So, good to go on that front. Moving on. Okay, anything to say? I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way. So here's a cookie. Yes, got a cookie. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want to, me to hang on to something? Uh, no, at the moment not. Be careful. Mom? Yeah, sure, you're cool, whatever. Mom savage. Okay, King? Do you want me to go with you? Yes, King, come with me. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Do -do 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 -do. King joins you. Okay, Pokey. Alright, you go out in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. I really don't like Pokey. But I, I guess he's my friend. Pokey joins you. Let's move out. The phone be ringing. Ness answers the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young? Have you ever heard of a weird thing like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you, 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh, yeah, I deposited 30 bucks into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero at least. Ha <laughs> Slap! Thank that. So, we have our ATM now as well. Oops. That should be the goods. Yep, yeah, we have the ATM card. We have a bread roll and a cookie. Good job. Well then, let's move on. Let's check what's outside. Let's grow. Okay. Hi there, crow. We will have our first fight with you, Crow. Yeah, engage the Crow. Okay, we only control Ness. So, even though King and Pokey are in a party, they don't do anything. So let's... We don't have any PSIs. So let's bash the Spitful Crow. Spiteful, sorry. Ouch, 8 damage. And growling. And I attack. Fucking Dodger, seriously. So, I'm gonna leave this whole thing... Um, like I did it with the first, um, well not first earth, but like I did it with mother. Freaking crows deal a lot of damage. I'm gonna fight a lot of enemies because this is an RPG. One needs to grind. And how things are gonna go, I'm gonna cut out the fights after a certain time. I'm gonna leave them in for the first episode, all of them. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the episodes down even more. And we're gonna, let's see how much the cookies actually recover. 6 HP, so not too much. And after that I'm gonna cut um, 
all of the fighting together and I'm gonna mostly then show fights against new enemies and boss enemies and leave all of the grinding parts like fighting against um, small enemies like the Spitful Crows and wow I'm happy I was the one who smashed but uh, I'm gonna cut out all of the small fights like that after a while um, I'm gonna jump in whenever there's a level up and stuff like this. Oh, we got our first PSI. So that will determine something here as well. Let's see, PSI. Okay. That's not exactly what... To one of us, PP cost. Okay. But I cannot check the PSI, so I'm gonna do it as I... Like I did it in the last episode... Uh, in the last episode. <laughs> in the last um, playthrough. I'm gonna give you a screen down in the bottom where you can read what exactly the different PSIs do because I don't know it out of the top of my head and I'm gonna refresh a lot of it with I'm going around the wiki again and finding out what all the PSIs do but yeah for you you already saw it it's gonna be out there once I'm nice it's gonna always pop up once I'm getting a new um, PSI and I'm hovering over it to show you what PSI does what. So, and now let's focus on getting through that and beating up some snacks and some crows. So hey, Coil Snake, we didn't really concentrate on you the first time when we engaged him. So let's concentrate on you while you die. Good job there. I'm mostly fighting against them because I really want to grind early on because it's gonna be helping out a lot. Okay, I cut this fight out because... Just saving up some time here. Because I want to get up there and what the crap is that? Is it a doggo? A runaway dog. Let's fight against a doggo. Interesting. Well, King does something every now and then, and Pokey is completely useless in the fight, so... God damn you, Pokey. Runaway dog, tape, nice. Let's see, is there anything else? I wanna, again, deal with as many enemies as possible. Hi there, snack that suddenly appeared. The one thing that I can say already is a lot better than it was with, the, with Mother is that you can see the enemies on the screen themselves and you can actually try to avoid them. That's actually really good because as it was with Mother, you just ran into enemies and it could be really annoying. So if I was trying to get somewhere quickly, it would have been really annoying. And nice, I got an oh baby upgrade. Level up, not upgrade. That's really nice. I got a lot of things there. I don't think I need to use that yet. Do you have anything to say? Hey, Ness! I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a chat some voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man! But when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man! Okay, I don't think you changed your sign. And uh, no, still not. Okay, up there is Piquet, so let's try to get to him. More enemies trying to jump at us or not? Let's see. I knew this was going to be... If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come here. Hold on, I'm out of here. King, you useless dog. Well, whatever. Gosh, there's still lots of fire burning here and there. It's hot. Okay, hey, Picky. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Let's go home. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Gee, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. I wonder now if I get into a fight, if Picky will actually fight with me or if... Ness! Do you hear buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Eh? I mean, no, but yeah, I guess. Yes, you can hear it. Now I hear it.
I'm a bee. No. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is des devastation. Gigas, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it's my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Giga's monstrous plans must, must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gigas. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage and friendship. A legend from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl. Who defeat Gigas? I will tell you more later. Go now and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? I did. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are an exceptional as exceptional as I expected you to be. Nice fanfare. Buzzbuzz joins the team. Ness! Nice. It looks like you're really in a, in a lot of trouble at this time. Three boys, you said? Eh, I'm not one of the three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, I just almost pounding right out of my chest. Freaking pokey. I mean, we ha we would have three boys right here. But pokey. Seriously. If I if I wouldn't know any better, then I would tell you, yes, you are one of the three boys. But I'm certain that he is not one of the three boys. I have to go this way. Also, now that I have bus bus with me, there are no enemies anymore. There's a hole. There's a hole. And there was something down there. Interesting. It's, it's creepy, I guess. More whatever. Let's move on. Let's move on out. And see what's gonna happen. I um, think we're gonna have to bring the boys back home first. And after that, I'm gonna go to... It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Giga's plans. But, Buzz Buzz... You must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Okay, stomping hard starts now, apparently. Starman! Let's bash him. Buzzbuzz tries PSI shield, whatever that should have been. And we all got shields! Vicky, wow! Two. Well, thanks, Picky. And I think Pokey was just crying. And thanks to the shield, we don't take any damage. That's good. So let's bash that Junior again. Wow. That was a lot of damage. Thanks for helping, Picky. And yeah. Well, Pokey, you're useless. More PSF fire. We still have the shield, so we are still good. Boom. Okay, Buzz Buzz renews the shield. Good, good thing. We needed that. I'm pretty sure we would instantly die if we wouldn't have that shield. Thanks again, Picky. Picky smashes a lot. He doesn't deal a lot of damage, but he smashes a lot, so at least deals two damage. I think there's no way to deal below one damage unless you have a shield. Buzz Buzz really brings home the cake, though. We won! That was... Actually, an easy fight. Well, mostly thanks to Buzz Buzz. Phew, I was taking a big chance there. He was from 10 years in the future to kill me. So we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gigas, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gigas' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Okay, I listened, so let's bring home those boys first. Oh boy! I've seen the devil! Hi there, lady. Can I just 
walk past them and ignore them. No. Okay, I think we have to engage with them. Boy! And also, only the first episode is going to be this long. The next few episodes are going to be shorter than this one. So let's talk to... I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Uh, by the way, I would be happy if you left some, if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too nice than yet with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Ah! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Did you just kill Buzz Buzz? Buzz Buzz? Yeah, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See, you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gigas, your own power must unite with the Earth. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Wanted. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? I do. All right. You are a very intelligent young man. And... Oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark. Ugh. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into the stone. It is an awesome item. And by the way, I almost I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No, thanks. I'm I'm fine. You can just pause on. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ah! <gasps> Ness got the sandstone. And Buzz was gone. You killed him. My husband is very soft hearted. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so tired. Neck, neck, neck. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave now because this is way too fucked up. I'm not gonna check on Pokey and Picky. Hey, it's day now. We're gonna check at home and then we're gonna leave this episode. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say. Fuzzy Pickles! Fuzzy Pickles? Wow, what a great photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Cool! Okay, again, I wanna check out indoors and then we're gonna leave this episode right here. Hello, Mom! You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some pasta and scoot up to bed. Thanks, mom. <sighs> pasta and sleeping is the best combination that you can get. Nice. Okay. Now we are well rested. What do you say? That's the wrong game. Oh. It's my line now. Oops. Yes? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I'm not storing any of your stuff. 
Do you need anything else from me? No. Oh. I'm gonna take care and I'll talk to you later. Okay, so... Okay, that's all then I hear I take. Let's see. King! I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if and everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. Okay, well, King, okay, let's do that. Ness picks up the receiver. Let's call Dad. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited fifty-four dollars to your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have eighty-four dollars in the bank. Well, ex exp to get. Well, exp to get to the next level. Ness. Eleven. Anyway, what do you need from me? Let's record. All done. Your dear dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. I am gonna press continue on. Yes, you like to work hard. Just like your mother. But I don't think it's good to work too hard. Take beep, beep, beep. And I'm gonna save mostly with... Um... The virtual console save state system because that way I can also save in the middle of anywhere. I don't have to always find the phone, which makes it a lot easier for me. So, but this is going to be the first episode. It's a long one, but there was a lot of prologue to this game. So after that, I'm gonna see that the episode's gonna be around 15 to 20 minutes. And yeah, that's essentially it. The next few episodes gonna be around 50 to 20 minutes. This is going to be an exception. The last episode is probably also gonna be a long one. I can say that much already. But I'm gonna leave this episode right here. I hope you guys had a fun time because I know I had one. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. And I'll just all of you in the next part of Earthbound. So bye.